let's talk about some of the things that both it's on both of your lists. Like here's some things that must have, no matter what you're doing when you're outbound prospecting, um, Anthony, you want to kick us off? Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, the first two Jed kind of alluded to, but yeah, AB testing is huge. I think, um, the point I want to get across really is with any sequence, regardless, you can have like the most, like the best setup with your steps and, you know, every, the automation looking good, but if the messaging, you know, is off, it doesn't matter how great it's set up. So really think about AB testing everything to nail the messaging, like Jed said, right? I work at LinkedIn, our messaging is established, but you may work at a startup where you need to like be a scientist and really test. So put 50 prospects into sequence A, put 50 prospects in sequence B and test the messaging. How I would approach messaging is what I alluded to earlier in point number two, which is find a trigger and a relevant observation and then tie that to a, a problem statement or hypothesis of what may be going on. And don't make that up. Look at your current customers. If you know there was a customer who had a challenge around ramping SDRs, well, you know what that problem statement is now for ramping SDRs and your trigger is finding companies who are hiring SDRs. So you put those two together in an email and you test that out across a, a series of companies that are hiring SDRs and you see what type of messaging works. Um, how you set up the sequence, I think is less important than what is actually the content within those sequences. So you can be scrappy like me and, and uh, use signals to like change things up. You can have a more structured process, but I think what Jed and I both agree on is like you need to be uh, data driven and you need to have a smart approach to how you use your messaging. Cause then from there it, it comes down to, okay, we know what messaging works. How do we best set it up to meet uh, our needs based on how many prospects we need to be contacting, how many meetings we need booked. Um, but yeah, need to, need to make sure you test the messaging first. You know, I think something that's changed so much is this, <clears throat> both of you agree on this like shorter sequence and there used to be that 12, 18 touch feeling Jed, like, what do you think has changed for our buyers to where it's like, we are getting to the point where they're blocking their moving on. Cause that wasn't always the case before. Is, do you feel like there's been something major that shifted? I think it's just the overall increase in like outbound outreach. Um, so like it's, yeah. there's like a lot of email data on this, but there's billions and billions of more emails being sent every year. Um, as we all know, like the economy isn't the best over the last couple of years. And so people are now having to do more outbound uh, AEs before who didn't necessarily have to prospect are now doing more full cycle. And so there's just a higher volume of uh, outbound emails. There's power dollars now where people can make calls much faster and there's more call volume going out. LinkedIn is getting crazy with automations and like everybody's kind of blowing it up in the DMs. And so I think there's just a lot more noise and maybe there was less noise five years ago. I mean, certainly there was. And so you can kind of get away with that a little bit more, but I think buyers are just getting tired of the constant outreach um, from so many different angles and all the automation that's out there um, that, you know, they're kind of getting tired of these sequences or being reached out to in a very static and robotic way. Um, if you think from the prospect's perspective and you're trying to be intentional with every single step, or you're trying to be brief, um, you, you're not, you're going to piss off a lot less prospects, right? And you can always retarget them a few months later, a quarter later or whatnot. But I think that's the biggest shift is that there's just so much more volume. And so yeah. uh, we have to kind of slow down a little bit. 